All right, hello there everyone, this is me Ethan here and welcome back to another LEGO ranking video. And just recently, yesterday actually, the LEGO Disney 100th Anniversary Series, or basically Disney Series 3 of the CMFs, got revealed. I'm absolutely blown away by this series. I pretty much love this entire series. As you all know, I own the entirety of Disney Series 2. I own the LEGO Disney Castle I'm a pretty big Lego Disney fan. I haven't seen all the Disney films, but I love Lego Disney. Whenever Lego does something with Disney, it tends to turn out pretty well. And I especially love Lego Disney minifigures. Getting cartoon type characters just always looks so cool in Lego form. And today I'll be ranking all 18, yes, 18 Lego minifigures from the brand new Disney CMF series. So without any further ado, let's get into this video because I know it's probably going to be a long one. Starting off at number 18 at the very bottom of the list, this may catch some people by surprise, but I have the Queen of Hearts. Now don't get me wrong, this is a pretty cool Alice in Wonderland minifig. I don't think it's a bad minifig, it just doesn't really interest me. I think the face is just a little too uncanny for me. I get that's kind of what they're going for. Um, the large dress piece is pretty cool, but it's no longer like a special thing to me. Now that I have this figure and I have that crazy large dress piece, it's no longer like a specialty factor to me. It certainly is a really cool piece, but I already own one, so it's not something that I'm like out for. It's a cool figure, it's all right, it's just not my favorite. At number 17 is Aurora. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm happy that she is now a minifig and she's no longer just a mini doll, but I've never seen Sleeping Beauty, so I, I have no connection to this character. I really do like the hair piece. The owl is kind of nice because it looks like a Disney owl, I guess. Um, but overall, this one doesn't have a huge appeal to me, but it's certainly a nice addition. At number 16 is Prince John. Yeah, Prince John, I don't know his name, from Robin Hood. Now, I haven't seen Robin Hood, but it is on my watch list. Pretty much all these Disney movies that I haven't seen from this series, I plan to watch the movies soon. So this list may change um, over time as I begin to go through a Disney watch Again, because I, I still need to catch up on some Disney movies, some classic Disney movies that I haven't seen. But anyways, number 16 is Prince John. Now, I actually really do like this minifigure. I think it's a really cool sort of Lion King figure. Um, I just said Lion King minifigure. Anyways, I think he's a really cool figure. Actually, I like the printing. The head mold looks really cool to me. I love the design of it. He's just not that iconic of a Disney villain, though. I've never seen Robin Hood. But I've never heard of Prince John, and he's just not that iconic of a uh, Disney or even Pixar character to put in this CMF series. And in my opinion, I think Hero from Big Hero 6 should have taken this spot instead. Not the spot on the list, but Prince John's placement in the CMF series. At number 15 is the Queen from Sleeping Beauty, and this figure I think is actually pretty cool. I love the design of it. I especially love that mirror just as a fan of the Shrek universe now. That's going to be a really cool addition to my collection. My only issue really here is that there's flesh printing on a black face, and we all know how that goes with Lego printing. They never print enough flesh onto the darker heads, um, and it just they always look like ghosts. They always look too pale. It's never fully printed. Let's hope they're wrong this time, but I'm a little concerned for this minifigure, so it's a little bit lower on the list. At number 14 is Baymax, and I really wish I could put this guy up higher, but he's just not doing it for me. I like the little charging station. I think that's pretty cool, but he looks, I think he's the deflated version, which is kind of a bummer. Um, if you're going to have Baymax, I think he should be like a big fig or something. I get that they have like the belly line going over the torso, and then towards the hips on the legs a little bit. But it just doesn't look a whole lot like Baymax. He's just not fat enough for me. I like the arms. Um, the hands are a little bit weird, in my opinion. I just don't think it's the best executed Baymax figure we could have gotten. At number 13 is Dr. Fasilier. I think that's how you say his name from Princess and the Frog. It's It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but... This guy is really cool. He's one of the coolest Disney villains. He's iconic, so I'm so happy that we're getting him. That new top hat piece looks fantastic. I love the skull on there. The face is just spot on. I think he has like, I don't know what he's got in his hand. I need to rewatch these movies. But overall, I love his design, and he's crazy accurate based on a crazy awesome villain that I really enjoy watching. 
At number 12 is Experiment 626 Stitch. Now, we already have a Stitch minifigure from the first Disney CMF series, but this is the one where he first crash lands on Earth, and he has, like, the, uh, the four arms, and he's in a suit, which I think is really, really cool. We're bringing back those arms from that guy from Solo, A Star Wars Story, which I believe was introduced in, like, 2018. So it's cool to see those arms back. Um, my only issue is that he's missing, like, those little... Um, the little antenna things. I think he had antennas whenever he first crash landed on Earth, and it would have been nice if they added that just to give, you know, a little bit more specialty to Stitch. But I like the new expression for him. That's kind of cool. We have something outside of just a smile like we've had for years since 2016 whenever the first series released. And overall, he's not too bad of a figure. He's a good addition. He's just a repeat of a similar character or of the same character that we've gotten in a previous series just a slightly different variant. Next up at number 11 is Mulan, and she's only higher than all the other figs just because it's nice to get this Disney princess in minifigure form. I think the design is really well done, even though it's simplistic. I love the uh, medium azure on the arms, and that little accessory with like the, was it like a, I don't think it's a cricket, some sort of bug. That's a really cool looking accessory to me for some reason. I really like that. I think the hair piece is the same as the uh, mini doll version. But overall, solid minifigure. I don't think I have any complaints with it. And at number 10 is Robin Hood from Robin Hood. And I think this is such a well-executed minifigure. I love the dual-molded legs with all the extra feet printing, the torso, the dual-molded legs, and especially that headpiece. I love specially molded heads from LEGO, and this one just looks so good to me. I hope it looks this good in person. And the reason it's this high up on the list is because I'm hoping that you can take off that hat piece so I can create a fantastic Mr. Fox minifig. That's pretty much the main reason I want this minifig. If you can't take off the hat, he's still at number 10 on the list. But overall, this is just such a cool animal minifigure to get. He kind of reminds me of Chima a little bit, but really solid. At number 9 is Pocahontas. And the main reason I want this fig is for the hairpiece. I think it was used in Lego Video first. And like a pinkish purple but now it's in black and it looks like winds flowing through her hair and for that reason alone i love this minifig otherwise the design is really nice i like the extra leaves and stuff but overall that hair piece just looks so cool and i gotta have it at number eight is jimmy cricket from pinocchio i wish this guy was a little bit higher um but the main reason he's kind of a little bit lower is because he's a minifig jimmy cricket i think should have been included as like a little um animal accessory to Pinocchio. I think that would have worked out a lot better. But as a minifigure, he looks pretty cool. It's kind of annoying that the render shows him moving his legs, even though they're, those are short legs that he's using. But overall, I think he's pretty cool. The eyes are kind of far apart, and they look a little cartoonish for my liking. But overall, it's it's he's, he's cute. I, I like his torso print. It's fairly simplistic. It's just the face that maybe throws me off a little bit. Overall, not too bad of a fig. At number seven is Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. And this this is a pretty sweet minifigure. I love that new hairpiece with the black and the white and those turquoise earrings. The face print is just perfect. The torso and leg. I love that sort of medium yellow color. I don't know the exact name, but that sort of soft lemon color with the, uh, the cape piece. It's just spot on. And that little Dalmatian, I don't know which one it is. I know all the Dalmatians have names. I don't know which one this one is, but oh my gosh, that's such a perfect dog piece. And I hope they use that dog piece in the future for other breeds of dogs. And it's it's mainly the accessory that's selling me, but the overall design of the minifigure is perfect as well. So for, so for that reason, that is why Cruella de Vil is at number seven. At number six is Princess Tiana from the Princess and the Frog. Oh my gosh, I love the colors on this one. Princess and the Frog is one of my favorite Disney movies. And I just love that um, softer green color with the yellow. It's the best colors you could possibly use. I think she's using that newer skin tone that was introduced last year, but I'm not sure. I wish that uh, the frog was printed to have maybe at least eyes or a face maybe. Um, but it's, it's not too awful. And I especially love that tile of Tiana's place. The colors on that there's just so much going on in one tile i love it it's it's a great minifig now heading into the top five we have at number five sorcerer mickey or as i call him sorcerer's apprentice mickey because that's always been his name from fantasia not sorcerer's 
not Sorcerer Mickey, it's Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey. And this is such a long overdue minifigure, and for that reason, it's this high up. It's really not that crazy of a figure now, since we've had so many different Mickey minifigures since the Disney castle, where they teased his hat and stuff, but... It's just a perfect minifigure, the um, the backwards hood, it's just the mop, it, it's perfect, it's the perfect minifigure. I don't know what else I have to say about him. He's, he's Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey from Fantasia. At number four, and this is kind of a controversial take, Pinocchio. I actually really like this minifigure, despite him having a nose that sticks out of a regular minifigure head. I really dig it. I like the um, possibly dual molded legs, dual molded mid legs. Uh, but the dual molded arms are nice. I like the fish as the accessory. The hat is perfect. It's got it's got that uncanniness, but that that's what Pinocchio is. He's a talking wooden boy, and I think they captured him really well. At number three is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and this is just such a cool minifig to get. He's kind of a niche character now. I know he was in the uh, Epic Mickey Wii games, I believe, but it's just a really cool figure to get the the mouse before the Mickey, I guess you could call him. Uh, the dual molded legs are nice. The torso is very simplistic, like all the Mickey and Minnie Minnie figures. Um, the headpiece is really nice. I don't know how they could have possibly gotten this minifig wrong, but he looks perfect. And I love that Oswald slate. It says Act 2, Take 1. Um, as someone who's really into the film industry, that's obviously cool to get more Lego slates. So overall, such a cute figure. I love him. At number 2 is Miguel and Dante from Coco and Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to get Coco figures in this series. I absolutely love Pixar. I grew up on it, and I still watch Pixar to this day. I think they're one of, one of if not the best animation studio, and I love Coco. So to get Lego Coco is really cool, but also just to get more Lego Pixar in general. We're getting Carl Fredrickson's house from Up um, coming pretty soon in April, in which these release like a month after, so man... We're getting some good Lego Disney and Pixar stuff. But regardless, Miguel looks really, really good. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with him. I think Dante could have maybe been like... Hmm, I, I think the dark brown works all right. Uh, his tongue sticking out is pretty funny. I like that they have his skeleton face for Miguel. The guitar, it's just its hard to go wrong with this guy. And he should have, I believe, an extra hair piece that you can toss on him and he has a regular facial expression. So I love the movie. I love Pixar, and getting more of it just makes me so happy, and they executed him perfectly. And at number one, to nobody's surprise at this point, I don't think, is Ernesto de la Cruz. And whew, this is a nice, nice minifigure. There's so much detail on him. That sombrero piece mixed with the hair, it looks so good. The face is just so accurate. I think it's easily one of the best Lego skeleton minifigs ever. And look at that guitar. Look at the top of it. It's got a skull on it. It's, I don't even know how to explain myself with this one. It's just a really cool detailed skeleton minifigure. And it's Ernesto de la Cruz from Coco. So I, I love it. I, I can't get enough of it. I cannot wait to pick up this minifig. So there was my ranking of all 18 brand new Lego Disney 100th anniversary CMF minifigures. It's a very long title. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to title this video to make it not confusing. But regardless, there was my ranking. I know there's some hot takes in there, some cold takes. But let me know. What are your, let's say, top five favorite minifigures from this series? I would love to hear any and all opinions in the comments section below. So if you all enjoyed this ranking and if you all enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye and have a great day.